All right, we're back. Sorry about that, everybody. I uh, This is my first time ever doing live, so I messed something up, but we're back now. All right, so I am just finishing up making this pizza, and then I'm gonna open more unclaimed mail. If you guys are just joining us, I just opened a piece of unclaimed mail, and it was a huge bag of post-it notes. There was like 10 of them in there, and like I said, for me, that's a score because I love office supplies and those are expensive. So heck yeah. All right, now I'm putting on a little bit of arugula and I'm gonna pop this thing in the oven. All right guys, give me a second. Oh shit, okay. Hi everybody. Look at this pizza. Wait till you see it when it comes out. You guys are gonna be impressed, okay? All right, so putting that in for eight minutes. Let's see. All right, here we go. All right, I'm back. Yes, I am the pizza making queen. Um, and like I was telling everyone earlier, that pizza is only 400 calories. You're gonna die when you see it come out. <gasps> Hi, George. <laughs> That's my hair guy on here. Oh, I'm so happy everybody's on here. Um, okay, so here we are. Back to what you guys are really here for. Let me move this cutting board so we can really get into it. All right, so I have a bunch more to open. Let's see. All right, guys, so here we go. Where are my scissors? See, this is what it's like when you go live, you have these little mishaps like this and people have to see it, so hold on. All right, I'm back. I have my pink scissors. I have no idea where my other ones went. All right, let's see who's in here. Ooh, okay. So, let's see, let's see. Let's, um... Let's go with this. You know, I'm telling you. These are never what I think they're gonna be. Any guesses? Any guesses? Anyone think they know what this might be? Hi, Soy Katie. Let's see. Hi, Sinjana. Oh my God, from India. That is awesome. Let's see. What else we got going on in here? Aw, thank you, Julia. Oh my God. Um, this is so cool. Okay. How do you pick out the unclaimed mail? Um, honestly, guys, so at some point, I'm going to have to take you upstairs in my office where I hide it all because I have so much on clay mail like i bought i've only gone twice to buy it i went the first time when i bought the initial 100 and then the second time i went was after my series got popular and i decided to extend it and i bought as much as i could so i bought like four huge boxes of it and i have it upstairs in my office and i have to hide it from myself because do you understand how much discipline it requires to not open it all um so anyhow, I, I just, um, I put a bunch of it like in a big bag and I bring it down here. And like you guys see before the video, I usually just like pick a few at random and that's what I do kind of like now, but all right, enough of that. Let's get into this. All right. Hi, Pixie. <laughs> I know Paro. It's hard. There's some nights where I'm sitting in bed and I want to go in there so bad and open it all or like. I, I feel like I need something, right? I wanna buy something and I'm like, I bet you it's in my closet. I bet you it's in that unclaimed mail because some of the stuff I've opened, I'm just in shock that I, it, it's even in there. So I wonder, but then like when I open some of the stuff like the worms or the dead crickets or the potato, I wonder what kind of nasty stuff might be in there that is like, you know, oh my God. Um, my dog almost knocked over my camera, but um, 
Anyways, all right, here we go. I'm opening it. Enough talking. Okay. All right. Any guesses yet? Hi, Bera. The air guitar, that was freaking awesome. I was, honestly guys, when I first opened the air guitar, I sat off camera for a second and thought about it. Cause I was like, is this some kind of like an Xbox thing? Like, and maybe it's not in there. Like I was so confused. I had to Google it and then I was like, oh my God, an air guitar is like the thing that people do. Like, that was just so funny. Aw, thank you, Carla. Um, You guys are so sweet. Okay, here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't even believe this right now. If you guys have been watching my series from the beginning, okay, then you know, hold on, just look, just look, what do you see? <laughs> People are so weird. Okay. All right, hold on. I'm going to angle this camera down so you guys can see me put this on the counter. I don't even know what's going to come out of here half the time. What the F? <laughs> you guys? <laughs> no, guys, it's all feathers. <laughs> Hold on. Let me take a minute here. I'm not used to having an audience when I do this, and I'm, I'm used to just like... Oh my God, this is like kind of freaking me out. Okay, I'm gonna have to take the camera over here to show you guys what I'm looking at, okay? Do you see this? You guys, what the hell? And there's nothing else in the box, okay? There's no letter, there's no nothing. Ew, wait, look at this one, you guys. Look at this one, how dirty and gross it is, okay? Those things creep me out. Oh my God, bringing back to my childhood. I bet those are one of those weird collectible things. <laughs> you guys, what the hell? Hold on. These are, wait a minute, look at this one. <laughs> it has like a little bun. Yes, you guys know, I think so much of this stuff is eBay stuff, like weird eBay stuff that just didn't make it. Oh my God, this one has a tooth. <laughs> oh no, okay. You guys, it has a tooth, okay? <laughs> this is like, there are some with the gems, okay? Uh. Oh my God, look at this one. <laughs> yes, Julia, the tooth, I can't. We all twisted the hair up like that. <laughs> you guys, this one's wearing a tuxedo. <laughs> and he's a treasure troll, right? Isn't that what's called a treasure troll? Oh my God. Wait, what well, this one is like, <laughs> Oh my God, wait a minute, you guys. I think these ones are getting married. You see? <laughs> what on earth? Like, listen, I mean, definitely, I feel like lately, like this second, like uh, the second half of the series has been getting like kind of personal. Like I'm getting much weirder things. Hold on, that's my pizza. Sorry guys, I gotta, I gotta tend to this real quick. Ugh. All right, okay, wait, these things need to go away. Okay, I hear you, I hear you. All right, wait till you guys see my pizza. Honestly, I think here's a new press. Like I wanted to start doing like kind of some more cooking stuff on my TikTok. 
Yes, we hear you. Shut up. Okay. So, oh, this is another thing I do. I'm not like a huge drinker, like of alcohol. So this is like a soda and I put an wine glass. So I feel fancy. Like I recommend trying it. Mm. Okay. But look at my pizza. I mean, right? Like honestly, 400 calories for the whole thing. <laughs> The whole thing is 400 calories, you guys. Like, it can be done. I like to feel like I have a lot of food and then I don't have to feel guilty, you know? Like, I like to have something I can sit down with and uh, work on it for a while, you know? But it's actually low calories, so. My dogs are down here. They're like, they want some. All right. Ew, I don't want to get anywhere near these trolls in my freaking pizza. All right. Let me put this off to the side so I can open some more. This needs to cool down anyway. So, you know, I watched a really good movie last night. That new one on Prime with Chris Pratt and the aliens. Guys. Listen, I thought it was gonna suck, but it was really good. Um, like, I was impressed, like, it was really good. I highly recommend, I think it's called Tomorrow Day or something like that. Oh, I have a pug and a puggle. Here, let me show you. Hello, hello. Look who's here. This is Kara, this is my little baby. <laughs> Oh, I've been wanting to check out Fair Street, Julia. You like it, huh? Oh, thanks, Irene. I'm actually uh, thinking about painting my cabinets. Yes, Paro. <laughs> I know she loves pugs too. It was one of my babies. And then here's the other one. Oh. This is Jenna. Hey, hey, you stop it. This is Jenna. She's a puddle, so she's half puddle and half puddle. Oh, it's the same cast as Stranger Things? You're kidding. I didn't know that. I'm going to have to check that out. Thank you. I love recommendations. I love binging stuff. I just love watching movies, all of that. Okay. Let me move this. You guys, going live is like kind of stressful and a lot of work. Like I feel like, um, you know, all those things you do off camera and you cut out, like everybody sees it. And uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, next. Okay, I have two more things in here. Let's go with this one. This is the bigger of the two. We have that one and we have this one. Which one should I open first? That's crazy. How about this one? Okay. I know Julia, but you did really good earlier. Um, yeah, I definitely, I probably should have poured a glass of real wine. All right, here we go. This one is rough, man. Some of these be looking rough, like, Sometimes I, I get why they're unclean, but other times I'm like, how, right? How, how was this unclean? Just like with unclean baggage when somebody, there was an Hermes bag. I'm like, how do you not claim an Hermes bag? All right, any guesses? Oh, okay, this one actually has a packing slip. Sometimes they have them, sometimes they don't. I don't like to look at those because it kills the surprise. All right. really cute look at this you guys see that it's a little watermelon wine stopper and a wine marker kit no actually Paro I haven't seen any with a PO box address on it like none and most of the ones I've seen 
were supposed to go to like Brazil or like other countries. There's been a few for the United States, but most of them are uh, other countries. Oh shoot, okay, but look at this. That is really cute, look at this. It's a little, my ring light's killing it, but a uh, little watermelon wine stopper and then a little watermelon like marking pieces, so cute. All right, moving on. I know, I like it. So guys, something I'm thinking about doing that I've got a lot of requests for is making a website and I'm gonna start listing the stuff that you see me open because I can't tell you how many people reach out to me and they're like, hey, is that for sale? Can I buy that? And I'm like, oh, wow. You know? Um, hi, uh, Jung 80 And yes, I got cash recently. Um, I had an episode where it was like this like old school glass swan in a box and it popped open and there was a hundred dollar bill inside. So a lot of people, yeah, I'm going to do it, Julia. <laughs> a lot of people said that they think like a lot of people will send cash that way in the mail. So people don't know it's cash and it's like hidden. Anyways, that was the first time I got cash and it was real. I uh, went and used one of those uh, uh, counterfeit markers to make sure. And it was real. Okay, last one, guys. Any guesses? This is a tiny one. This is a small one. You know what really gets me? When, I mean, now I've seen so many of these packages, okay? I think I might start wearing gloves too, but um, it is crazy to me when people seal an envelope like this and that's it. Like I will always put an extra piece of tape or something, but like, they're just like, eh, it's good. You know, I mean, hey, it made it not to the person, but it made it gift card. I know, right? Listen, so that's the thing. When I bought these, um, hi, Sophia. Uh, right now it's 10 o'clock for me and I live in Las Vegas. <laughs> yes, Julia. Um, so when you get to pick these, you get to pick them. Like, so I actually have more footage of me at the swap meet that I've been wanting to work into the series, but I don't want to throw people off when they don't see like that same intro, but they had these big, huge bins. And like, I just don't think they knew what they had, or maybe they had gone through like a bad cycle. I mean, let's be honest. Most of the stuff is, I don't know. I wouldn't say that. I don't know. I mean, I love doing this. It's so much fun, but I don't know where I was going with that. Anyways, let me just open this. Hi, Shloka. Hello. Okay. Let's see. So here we go. It's usually never what I think it's going to be, but you know. I mean, I feel like I see Christmas colors. Oh my God, you guys. This is a gift card. This is a gift card. But there's nothing else in here. Look at it, there's nothing else. Like, I guess people just think, hey, you know what's coming, you know. I don't know. It, people, like, people don't take the time to make cards or write a note. Like, they do sometimes, but. All right, let's see. How do I even open this thing? Hold on. Oh, here we go. Wait, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so it is a gift card. This is the first time I've got one like this. Look, it's Ulta. There's writing on it. This is in-store credit. Like, you have to wonder. And it says $35.71. Now look, you guys don't ever see me do this. When I do my videos, I do a voiceover. So I've already seen them and I've checked them out. But I'm going to have to call this and see if that money is actually on there. So far, all of them. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Julia. Um, <laughs> so, so far, all of them have been what they said except for the last couple. The last one said 10, but it was only five. And then I had one from Netflix that said 35, but it was like under $5, I think. But I'll have to check this. But don't you just wonder, this is store credit of 
35 bucks and you have to wonder like who sent this to somebody and they're like hey i have a 35 dollars store credit i'm just gonna send that to you you know because this isn't something you would probably give to somebody as a gift right because it's like oh like it's store credit and just the way it's written on there um listen for me i am ecstatic to have it i this cost me one dollar so um heck yeah but this is amazing. Honestly, I feel like I almost need to re-record this one and make a TikTok video out of this because I feel like people are going to want to see this. Um, people are so weird, Julia. So weird. Like, I, I can't tell you how much I've realized that since I've been doing this series and seeing the kind of stuff that people send in the mail. Just like, you know, this. So, um, it's just very interesting. Maybe a relative. I could totally see my sister doing that. <laughs> I once got a package meant for my neighbor and opened it before I realized it was six seeds in a letter. That's it. <laughs> oh, can I? I didn't know. You know what? Somebody actually asked me that earlier if I could save it because I couldn't make it. Snail mail is weird. Yes, that's a... Um, yeah maybe i can somehow edit this and make it into a TikTok um because this was a very interesting opening and i don't want anyone to miss out <laughs> but that's so cool so there were six seeds i feel like that's the kind of thing i could see like an older person doing you know like being like oh wow like these are seeds from like my prized plant like I always try to think of the story that goes along with the package. Like sometimes it feels so, I don't know, like unfinished to like some of these things I open. Like, I'm like, oh my God, I want to know the backstory so bad. Have you ever received a gag gift while opening a mystery package? Oh, absolutely. Um, yes. I mean, God, I wouldn't even know where to start with the gag gifts, you know? I mean, at least to me, they seem like a gag gift, but maybe not to somebody else. Um, God, I have to think about that. Uh, but yeah. So what else, guys? Does anybody have any questions for me about anything? How long have I been on for? <laughs> I know I had to get off and come back on because, you know, I'm a live newbie and I didn't know what I was doing, but. What'd you do with the tape recording? Oh, you know what? I still have it. I obviously I posted on YouTube. Hopefully a lot of you caught that. I know that video has like over 2000 views, which is awesome. I'm getting close to getting my YouTube channel kind of up and running. I mean, I have a YouTube channel, but I'm trying to get enough like watch hours on there right now. What time is it there? Um, it's 10.06 here and I'm in Vegas. So I'm on the West Coast. Uh, if any of you are just joining or you weren't here for the first one, these are the post-its I got in the first one. <laughs> And I am very excited about these. And you guys, these are the pop-up ones, like the accordion ones that you put in your little dispenser. Like these aren't cheap. So heck yeah. And I got a variety. I mean, but yeah, but yes guys. So here's a couple things that I'm going to start doing. I'm going to make a website and start listing the stuff that I open. So if people want to buy it. And also I'm thinking about making mystery boxes. Um, I have a friend who does that. It's Dumpster Diving Mama. Um, I know probably a lot of you know who she is. And um, she does really well with that. And I cannot tell you how much random stuff I have <laughs> from doing this, from mystery boxes I get to the unclaimed mail. And then just the stuff I get, like good deals on. I mean, I need to start listing things. I need. I'm thinking about making mystery boxes. So I don't know if that's something people would be interested in, but it's something I'm thinking about doing. I know, I wanna know what motivated you to start opening these types of packages. Um, hi, Irene. So, you know, I'll be honest with you guys. So when I first started like on TikTok, um, probably like most people, I started last year and for the very first time ever, I started working from home because of COVID. 
And then, um, like, you know, my, I, I came across the unclaimed mail stuff at the swap meet and you guys are going to die when I tell you this, but I bought them. Oh, thank you, Wally. Um, I bought them and I sat on them for three months before I posted my first one. Isn't that crazy? After seeing like how popular they were, but I knew I wanted to make a series and post them, but I didn't really know how I wanted to do it. And I given I, me and Tim like opened a few on camera and I gave some to like friends and family and even coworkers, but I just didn't like it. And then one day it was like a couple days after uh, Christmas, I remember I, we went, we brought a few out and we opened them and I got that $50 Visa gift card. I was like, oh my God. I'm like, and I was already recording. I'm like, this is a good one. I'm like, I'm going to post it. I'm just going to post it. And I posted it and you know, that one went super viral. I think it has like a 46 million views now, which is crazy. And what's even crazier is the first time I put it up after it had hit 8 million views, it got taken down and then I peeled it and got put back up. And yeah, so I think somebody had asked what had inspired me to do this, but you know, I just was making videos and I had come across the unclaimed mail and you know, I immediately, I thought it was so interesting and I'm like, people I think will want to see this. And I'm like, I want to make a series, but it took me a while to actually put it up. Um, you know, I'm glad I did and I'm glad that people like it. It's fun for me and I'm glad that people like watching it. How many pieces of mail did you buy? So lecture 102, the first time I went, I bought a hundred. And then, um, I said this earlier, I went back after I decided to extend the series and I bought like four huge boxes of it. Like I have enough for like the whole year to make my hundred, uh, my full 100 episodes. So we're good. What's the most expensive thing you have opened? Brooklyn high. Honestly, the, I think the most expensive thing I've opened is that Tanzanite stone. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the video where I opened it and when I got it valued, but I got it valued at a place that, you know, wasn't like really a place you should go. It was more of like a pawn shop, but they said it was worth two to 400. A lot of people on here are telling me they think it's probably worth a thousand if I take it to a real jeweler or like a gem specialist who can appraise it. But the problem is it costs like $300 to get a stone appraised. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to spend that. I don't even know if it's worth it. Um, why did your video get taken down? My very first one got taken down because they said it was illegal activity. And I think, you know, I wasn't that shocked. You know, it's probably one of the first times people saw somebody opening unclaimed mail and they're like, that's illegal. You know, it's a federal offense to open people's mail. And then, and then, you know, um, people like started looking into it and then I, you know, there are so many cool like um, news outlets that covered my series. Like there's this really cool inter interview that Buzzfeed did with me and I wanna post it on my TikTok. I keep meaning to do like a male montage of all the cool stuff that happened, but I just haven't got around to it. Why did, okay, yeah. What's that place made me nervous for you? <laughs> I know, Pero, I was scared, um, but yeah. But yeah, so that's really it. But you guys, um, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna eat my pizza and go watch TV. Um, but thank you so much for everybody coming on here tonight. This was so much fun. I'll have to do it again. Are you still giving out stuff? Um, I don't really have like a giveaway open right now or anything, but I'll probably do one soon. Here's the thing I hate about giveaways these days is that every time I do one, all the scammers come out and all of a sudden there's like five fake accounts with my name and picture. And then I have everybody DMing me being like, Oh my God, did I win? Is that you? Do you have another account? And I'm like, no. Um, but I'll be doing something soon. Good night, Carla. Thank you so much for coming. Um, you guys, if you're not following Carla savings on here, you need to, she does amazing good deals. Also, uh, freebies and more who's Julia. She does the same thing. She was on here. I don't know if she still is. Um, thanks Wally, you too. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get going, but thank you everybody for coming tonight. This was fun. I'll do it again soon. Okay. Bye. How do I do this?